Hello, my name is Pablo Rivera. I'm an instructor at the Art League of Jacksonville. And today I'm doing a watercolor of a fellow instructor whose name is Rio. I hope you like it. I'm doing a watercolor from a photograph of Rio, taken when he sat for portrait class at the Art League of Jacksonville. He was set in his pose when I startled him as I approach for a photograph. That quick look in my direction is what I want to paint. Before I start, I like to make a small value sketch with little to no details to es establish where the darks, mid values, and lights go. This is important because I want to save the white areas as white paper. I'd like to have the dark background come behind the light areas of his hair and the light background on the other side of his hair. I'm using Winsor Newton 140 pound cold press paper, which I wet, stapled on four sides, onto gator board. I let it dry for a couple of hours, then taped a sheet of tracing paper over it. I worked out my drawing on the tracing, coating the back with graphite and transferred basic lines to the watercolor paper. Usually I start with the light washes, but this time I want to establish the background as I'm okay with some of the lighter washes running into the darks. Now I lay in lighter washes on the face, lifting and adjusting as I go. I'm jumping into the dark shadows, like the upper lip, mustache, under the nose. I wanted to hold on to the strong highlight on the nose, but skin tone accidentally got put over it. So now I'm trying to lift it, and I'm lifting it with the uh, wet oval brush and paper towel. More dark values are laid in, like eye, eyebrow, soul patch, and hair shadow on his left side. I'm underpainting his hair with ultramarine blue, knowing it will dry much lighter. I'm now adding more darks to the hair on the left side of his head as well as scratching into the hair. Now I'm bringing down darks into his shirt. A 
I'll darken the white since it is in shadow. I want to keep that look in his eye, because that's what the painting is really all about, and put in the dark iris. I'll scratch out a highlight in each eye while the painting is still damp. I feel the need to add a few strokes here and there, but with caution. I don't want to overwork it. I want to keep it fresh. I want to compare it now to my reference photo and my value sketch for a final tweaking. Mm -hmm. 